hello guys so this is continuations of uh, selenium locator writing and we will see uh, some more examples of locator writing right so we will go to this site uh, selenium hq uh, org dot download right so we will go to the site and uh, we will try to write some locators here so what uh, we will try to do is uh, we will try to uh, write the locator for this download right so if you look at here this is the html piece of code where you have ul inside the ul you have li elements and this is the locations where we have anchor tag a href is equal to download and title is equal to get selenium and the text is equal to download right so what are the ways uh, we can write the xpath for uh, for this right so there are a couple of ways uh, we can write the xpath for this uh, if we uh, look at here i'll do inspect and then i'll go to the just i'll click on this icon and i will hover on the download so i'll hover on the download here we have a href download title get selenium and text is equal to download so here do control f one options will come here here what we can write here is we can copy this we can copy the entire things sorry oh, it's a link so it's getting clicked so i'll not do that now uh, better i will write here a at href is equal to then again i will click on this and i'll go to the download so we have download so we can write here download slash download slash it should be href okay so see uh, we are able to identify but the problem what is happening is uh, with this object there is a two element okay so uh, we cannot go with this object because you can see that two of two so we need to identify the object uniquely so we can just add and inside that we can add and at title is equal to we can add get selenium let's see what happens now and this works fine so with this we are able to identify the object uniquely right so let me open one text text document so i'll just paste it here for time being okay this is one kind of expert the second is you can just write at title is equal to get selenium this will also work fine okay and you can identify the object uniquely you can see that one of one which means we are able to identify the object uniquely so this is the another object the third object what we can write here is uh, we can write contents text but the problem is you should not go for the contents text because when you try to do so you have a download here and you have a download here also right so you should not go for that instead of that what you can do is the another way of writing the xpath is you can go to the li li has id is equal to menu underscore download okay it has li id is equal to menu underscore download so we can go one parent up that is another way of writing the xpath for the same object so why i am showing you in the different way sometimes what happens is one way it will not work out so you should know all the way how you can write the x path right and then we can write slash a so these are the x path for the download so these are the x path for the download we have written now how to write the css for the same thing css is pretty uh, straightforward we can just we can remove this we can remove this at also and instead of and and uh, 
we can just put a, a square bracket and if I'll test here see we are able to identify uniquely right so these are the way uh, we can write the XPath and CSS let me do one thing let me increase the font size so let me increase the font size one second I think it should come into the text so here we have increased quote label okay oh no this didn't get increased text okay here we have a text display here I think so font and we can increase the font we can make it to the 14 okay or 18 okay so these are the X path we have the same thing for the second X path we can convert to the CSS so we just need to remove the double slash and remove add so these are our CSS right and these are our xpath right similarly for this li we can write the css just by remove this remove at and you just write a so this is the css and this is the xpath right then we will see uh, so here i have taken only one xpath and css okay remaining you guys can practice and here the another way of uh, writing the CSS uh, would be we have ID here right so we know that in CSS we can write ID by hash and we can just write angle bracket A so this is another way of writing the CSS for the download now let's see uh, you have a documentations for this guy you need to write the XPath and CSS so you have this documentation so for this guy again click on this click on this documentation so here same thing will have work here here you have at href is equal to docs title is equal to technical reference and guide right and then documentations so entire thing will work fine so what we can do is we can copy these documentations from here and uh, what I'll do is I will just print these documentations and then this title right I will copy from here I will print here the title and then what we have is we have href is equal to docs so one thing what we have is docs then this three data we have and here uh, the parent li is equal to menu documentation so we can copy here now I can construct the XPath and CSS same thing I can copy for documentations and here I can write DOCS and then title is equal to technical reference and guide so here we can give like this then one we can just use the title and we can write that the other is we can go for the menu documentations and we can put a slash a so these are the way for documentations we can uh, write the xpath and this was for download right the first one was for download and this was this is for documentations for the css how we should write the css same thing we need to copy paste and for css remove this remove at remove everything from here put a square bracket closing and opening then again uh, we will remove this sorry remove this remove at and here also remove this remove this 
and for CSS put this symbol and another way of writing the CSS is uh, for ID we know that we can uh, denote by hash so just write like this and remove this right so these are the way uh, we can write XPath for documentations similarly I have written here for documentations one XPath one CSS now the question says let's say as a part of assignment you guys can write for support about and project okay so you guys can try writing for projects uh, support and about so for these three things you guys can write the xpath and you guys can practice right now how to write xpath which will give you all this item projects download documentation support and about why I'm saying that because you see everything is a list element if you look at this is your ul so when I hover here this is the ul and inside the ul you have about this is support see support is getting highlighted you have documentation is getting highlighted you have download is getting highlighted you have projects which is getting highlighted so how do you write xpath which will give you all the data okay so if you look at my uh, how to get all li from html so this is the html and you need to get all the li so how do you get all the li from the html just what you can do is here you have div id is equal to header so this header you have right so what we can do is we can write slash div at id is equal to in single quote header okay and so we are here from here from here we need to co come to the ul so write slash ul and slash li so when you write slash ul slash li you can see that one of five which means all five you can identify through this object okay if you enter one by one see it is getting highlighted but let's say if you fix this to index three then only documentations will come nothing you can identify but if you remove this uh, this index right then one by one you can identify everything so this is the object through which you can identify the all li element of this html then how do i write a css css you can just write remove this uh, slash slash div id is equal to header angle bracket ul angle bracket li so in css to come down you have to write angle bracket ul angle bracket li now you have this html and uh, what we need to do is we need to figure out how do we write the xpath for donate to selenium okay donate to selenium so where we have uh, we need to see that first here we have donate to selenium okay so how do we write the xpath for this to uh, write the xpath for this donate to selenium so just click on this and hover here so what you have you have just s3 is equal to donate to selenium nothing else you have right and this you close all this tag so here you have uh, here you have donate to selenium div class is equal to adds right so where we are we have div is equal to m body right inside this div again we'll go back when to selenium yeah so here we are inside this div we have html right and inside this div you have entire thing right inside this div you have one more div inside the div we have donate to selenium okay like this we have so we have the main we have this is the main div inside the div we have ads inside the ads we have donate donate to selenium so how do you write that donate to selenium right so if you look at here again you can minimize this ul so basically we have like this div embody id side then we have div class ads and then donate to selenium 
so there are multiple ways uh, we can write the xpath for this one is we can just write add tag h3 contains text parenthesis donate to selenium right this is the one way you can write donate to selenium the second way you can do is you can write div class so you have class is equal to adds right so you can write div add class is equal to single code adds slash h3 slash h3 and then same contents to selenium to uh, donate to selenium you will be thinking why i didn't write only till here h3 because the problem is if you write only till there if you okay sorry slash slash yeah see there are multiple there are two of two so there are multiple uh, locators with this okay we are able to identify more than one one is donate to selenium and one is selenium sponsors both has same object so that is the reason after this s3 we have wrote contents text contents text donate to selenium so when we write this we can uniquely identify the x path okay here guys double slash is missing here so when i put here double slash see uniquely we can identify one of one right now the another way is we can go one more parent up okay we can go uh, div m body which is the parent and then inside the div this is the child div so we'll go to slash div this is the slash div inside the slash div you have div of one so this is the div again div of one slash h3 of one so you will be wondering why i wrote a div one h3 one there is a logic for that if i copy this x path here if i will not write this see there are more than one matching see two of two okay that is the reason i am writing one here like first h3 now only one matching but if i remove div one from here there is a multiple matching again no for this div there is a only one matching okay for this div there is a only one matching so even though you will write one it will not uh, harm anything but s3 we need to write one because it's more than two matching node with this object so we have to write h3 of one okay now what we'll try to understand is and one is of course you can write s3 uh, slash slash s3 text is equal to donate to selenium okay so this also we can write that donate to selenium now how do we write the css so we'll see that how we can write the css for the same so to write the css uh, if we go through uh, this object actually so we have to come here right so there are multiple ways we can write the css uh, one we can write here is just by writing we have div class is equal to adds right so we can just write dot ads adds angle bracket h3 this is one css because in css class is uh, represented by dot the another we can write is here we have div is equal to div id is equal to m body right so we can write slash m body and then from here we need to come to the div so we can write angle bracket div and from the div we need to come to the second div so we can write here angle bracket colon nth child second we need to go to the second child and then we can write here angle bracket h3 so it's like from m body so i came to div that even i would have written as a nth child of one that is also fine but you can write div here because there is only one div and then this is the second child div right so nth hyphen child of second right and then h3 so let me test this whether this css is working or not it is working but but with this we are able to uh, get more than one element so instead of div we can write here also nth child 
nth hyphen child of 1 right now let me try to so here we need to put whenever you are writing nth child put a colon so now let's see that yeah so here also it says that more than one matching node okay it says that two matching node so one is here and one is here so what we can do is instead of writing div here uh, we can write instead of writing div here right so because we are getting more than one matching node so we can write div class is equal to ads adds so we are just putting a class is equal to adds just to make sure that we should get only one matching node div class is equal to adds and then else nth uh, child of 2 of s3 so we are actually okay so actually the problem was this div okay so we can just write here i did a mistake the second div is getting problem right so we can just write id is equal to side so again two still we have two matching node okay so still we have two matching node so in that case what we should do when we are trying nth child of one that also didn't work okay so let me do one thing why nth child of one is not working here i'm wondering it should work nth child of one okay because of yeah now because of h3 right so here also uh, we can write div okay because of s3 now so because here also we have h3 right and here also you have h3 so when you just write h3 this locator is getting confused so we can here also we can write nth hyphen child of 1 now always it will look for h3 okay earlier what was happening we were writing just s3 so s3 was here uh, inside this div here you have s3 and here also you have h3 so it was getting confused now i did nth child of 1 so which means i will show you again control x so when you are here div class is equal to adds you want to go to the first child right so just paste it here and to go to the first child angle bracket colon nth child 1 which is nothing but the first child of the locator so this this is also this will work fine so this will work fine let me test the first css if this will work fine yeah okay so here also there are two h3 so you are getting one of two so here also we can write again nth hyphen child of one put a colon here yeah so only one matching so this is working fine we can write this one also right so there are two ways we have written the uh, css here for contents text corresponding css we don't have so this is the two way we can write the css now what my suggestion is guys if you really want to learn css and xpath you please write down xpath and css for this all whatever you are seeing that selenium downloads previous releases source code maven informations right you write for all you write for whatever text like selenium standalone server internet explorer right you can write for this download link you can write for this language java ruby python right you can write for web driver so there are n number of object in these applications you can write for that you can write for this text box you can write for this go button and you can do a practice right so with this i am closing this video we will have some more video for xpath and css thank you guys thank you for watching this